We're still at wet paint pottery. We're going to give this a try. Now, <laughs> I'm not that creative, <laughs> but hopefully you can uh, help me out. Let's get started. How does this work? Absolutely. So, we brought all the supplies in here. We have lots and lots of stuff to choose from. Mm -hmm. um, we're just going to get you to add a bit more of this paint to the last palette here. Okay. And we're going to do a really loose, kind of unstructured project for this okay. one. We're going to do some grass from the bottom up on your on your piece. And really, okay. the motion is just very, very simple, quick, and you can run all the way around your mug. Just lines up, leaving some space so that you can interchange and then move into a different color. There's my grass. Perfect. That's exactly what it needs to be. Excellent. So now I'm going to switch out palettes and we've got some different colors. I'm going to give you a different brush here. We're going to okay. make a couple of different shapes. First thing we're going to do is we're going to add some roses. We only need a few of them, so maybe two or three of them around. Roses are just going to be the baseline of a rose. It's just simply going to be a round splotch. A round splotch. Really, technical honestly, terms it's a here round wet paint pottery. It's, that is as technical as it gets. <laughs> flower. The other one was at least a rose. I don't know what that was that I just made. It'll be a flower when you're done with it. Swirlies. And swirlies in the splotch. Swirlies in the splotch. That's <laughs> how you make a rose. <laughs> I can't even draw stick men, so <laughs> this is a big day for me. So now we're at our splatter booth and what we're going to do is we're just going to load up a bristle, a stiff bristle brush. That's so just a toothbrush. This looks fun. It is fun. You can tell <laughs> it's a very popular piece. And uh, basically all you're going to do is you want the bristles aiming at where you want the paint. So don't be aiming them at yourself. Okay. It will wash off if you get it on you, but okay. otherwise. And you're just going to flick the bristles. What we're going to do is we're going to let that dry. We're going to dip it tomorrow. Right. And we'll fire it the next day. Okay. Um, I do have a finished one that'll show you just what yours might look like. I would love to see that. I'm just going to grab that. Okay. It won't look anything like what mine <laughs> will, will look, look like. almost exactly the same. This and is the is idea. Insane. That's beautiful. Absolutely. So this eventually will turn into this. Absolutely. That's the same fun. colors used, same everything. It looks a little different when you leave it behind. For because sure. Because it needs the heat. For the colors to get really vibrant. For sure. But that's the exact steps we used to do this one. That's so cool. Thank you so much and for you showing this. And you will have a new mug in a couple of days. Yes, I'm, I like mugs. I, am, I, I collect mugs. So this is another one for my collection. Awesome. Thanks so much for showing me how this is done. Again, if people want more information on wet paint, where can they go? They can go to our website. It's okay. wetpaintpottery.com. And we're open seven days a week, so they can drop in anytime. Awesome. Thank you so much. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what this is going to look like in a couple of days.